Welcome. We're pleased that you've joined us today. Our speakers are the editors of the new book, Opening Up Education, Toru Ioshi, a senior scholar with the Carnegie Foundation, and Vijay Kumar, a senior associate dean and director of the Office of Educational Innovation and Technology at MIT. Also with us today is the author of the book's foreword, John Seeley Brown. Toru and John are at the studios at Stanford University, and Vijay is joining us from Cambridge. They're going to talk about emerging innovations and future possibilities for the open education movement and what educators should do to reinvent and re-energize education. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Tori Yoshi, and I'd like to start this off by sharing the background and context of this work uh, in the next few, four or five minutes. Over the last few decades, as you know, new media and information communication technology have enabled students, faculty members, and educational institutions to advance teaching and learning in many ways. Today, with a growing number of openly available um, tools and educational tools and resources, especially through the internet, we are surrounded by a number of transmo transformative opportunities for education. However, to date, many innovators, uh, innovative educational efforts still remain in isolated and closed domains, rarely shared across classrooms, disciplines, institutions, and even regions. Therefore, educa educators find it very difficult um, to advance uh, their pedagogical practice and knowledge as a community. The good news here is the emerging open education movement is beginning to change the way we use, share, and improve educational resources and knowledge by making them open and freely available. But despite the increasing uh, interest in open education, and the availability of these growing and tools, uh, collections of educational tools and resources, we risk missing the transformative and innovative opportunities. We must think really hard about how open uh, education can help us improve teaching and learning in a small classroom, um, as well as to create, uh, as, as create the necessary educational capacity, capacity for the entire uh, world. As a global education community, we could benefit from a deep understanding of how open educational tools and resources are being created and used by, uh, in ways that build upon each other's educational knowledge and practice. It is vital we continue to explore possible synergies and sustainability strategies for all these current and future open education efforts and promote a culture of openness across boundaries and um, borders. And that is exactly why my colleagues and I wanted to embark on this Carnegie Foundation book project two years ago. Then uh, the open uh, education movement has advanced far enough for us to articulate the visions and the conditions necessary for opening up education in ways that can dramatically advance uh, learning and teaching. So it is our hope, you know, with John and Vijay here, that the e experience and wisdom captured in this volume uh, opening Innocent Up Education will help to make such a visions and conditions tangible and move us forward. As a collection of 30 reflective and generative essays by 38 prominent uh, leaders and thinkers uh, in open education, this book uh, explores the challenges, opportunities, and potential synergies from the various efforts uh, in the movement for enhancing educational quality and access. From the inception of this project, our goal was to help engage these authors in a collective exercise 
of critical reflections on the open education uh, movement. We start, uh, started this exercise by presenting our authors with a framing question, uh, which is, how can we uh, take full advantage of open, education, open educational technology, content, and knowledge to create opportunities to improve the quality of education? And then uh, we started further exploring various dimensions uh, in ad addressing uh, this framing question. Finally, I'd like to stress that even though uh, many of our authors are closely associated uh, with various significant open education initiatives, this volume is <coughs> neither uh, collections of reports on open education projects nor uh, up-to-date summaries of their successes. Instead, the authors have shared their critical analysis and the reflections on the strategic underpinnings of their past and current open education efforts. Exploring issues and possibilities and building upon their um, own and others' experiences. They have delved into uh, the implications and visions for future work in open education. Their perspectives, ideas, and visions through their chapters are broad, diverse, and of course, uh, very thought-provoking. So this is all very exciting. Okay, uh, my time is up here. So uh, John, uh, let's talk about where you think uh, we are now today.